In this video, I'll demonstrate SSL certificates troubleshooting. How to find out whether your certificate is valid or not, and if not, what could be the possible reason behind it. Firstly, let's try to access a website on HTTPS mode. As you can see, the padlock in HTTPS are in green color. This means that certificate is valid and is trusted by your browser, and thus you have a secure connection. Now let's try to access another website. As you can see that this website did not open. This is because the certificate that this site is using has some error. What is the error? We will discuss in a minute. Also notice that the padlock and HTTPS both are in red color. This means that your connection isn't secure. So now we can differentiate between a website with a valid certificate and one with an invalid certificate. How to find out the error in the certificate? I'll be discussing three methods of finding out what's wrong with the certificate. Method one, just click on the advance on the web page itself. Method two, online SSL checkers. And then there's a method three, which is an utility provided by OpenSSL, that's OpenSSL S underscore client. Method 1. Click on Advanced. Earlier when we tried to open this website, it did not open. Instead, we got this page. The error is mentioned here. Authority invalid. It means that the browser doesn't trust the certificate. If you click on Advanced, you'll get the details. As you can see, it reiterates the point that certificate isn't trusted. Method 2. Online SSL checkers. There are many SSL checkers available online. One such checker is provided by SSL Shopper. Just type in your domain and click Check SSL. It will tell you the exact problem with the certificate. Our certificate has two problems. Firstly, it is a self-signed certificate because of which it is not trusted by the browser. And second, there is a name mismatch error. I'll be discussing about various types of certificate errors in a future videos. The default port that this checker, this checker hits is 443. If your service is running on some other port, then just add the port at the end of the domain name. Example, www.myservice.com 1234. As you can see that this is a very useful tool. However, this won't help you when your service is in a network that cannot be accessed from outside world. In which case, you can take advantage of method 3. There is a utility provided by OpenSSL which validates a certificate. Just type in OpenSSL S underscore client hyphen connect domain name colon port. You can see the output at the end. The verify return code will give you the error, which in this case is self-signed certificate. If the certificate was correct, it would have given an output of 0 instead of 18. So now we have discussed how to troubleshoot SSL certificates error. Thank you.